Out of the community, things get strength. That's why it was so easy for me when I started a project. When I didn't have resources, there were always people around. Oh, down in New Orleans, land of dreamy scenes, there's a man, music man, plays and sings, bucking wings, pop a treetop dog. I certainly didn't have money to rent a rehearsal hall. It was Larry saying, go upstairs and rehearse. I mean, like I went to Joanne Clevenger. She joined in as a costume. I got a couple of lights, somebody said, you know. And I thought, I'd really like to write something myself that, that has a kind of improv feeling to it as well. I, I'll script it, but I'll direct it so it sounds like it's just off the top of the head. And we started working on a script in my apartment. And we just took four months, five months of no pay, and just coming over and learning and vocal harmonies and practicing the dialogue. And uh, Jason Patterson had an organization called the ABBA Foundation that could give a grant for community projects. So he came to see the first, second rehearsal. And he gave me a grant for 500 bucks from the ABBA Foundation to produce One More Time at the Toulouse. And it was for one night only. Come along, get ready, wear your brand, brand new gown. Cause there's gonna be a meeting in this good, good old town. When you know everybody and they all know you. And you get a rabbit's foot to keep away that voodoo. So we opened and then things just started exploding, you know, it became, well, this can draw an audience, maybe we should do three nights a week. And finally, people from New York came down and thought, oh my God, we have to take this up to the village gate. Just kept boom, 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 you know, it was something that exploded on me. I had a year, for example, in 79 to 80, I had opened at the village gate I went off to Arena Stage to direct another production of it. A month later, the original company was asked to go to open a show at the West End. That spawned a company in Australia and a world tour. I didn't question myself so much after that. I used to always wait to get back to New Orleans, to my apartment, just to go phew, and take all of that as sort of a flight of fantasy and get back to my real life. People were artistically expressing themselves any kind of way they could. There was nobody trying to make a, a living off of it because you weren't doing it as a career, you were doing it because you liked doing it. Just a little while to stay here. Just a little while to wait. It was just like you were swimming in this space of creativity. And there was always help. And I think when you keep a community tight, you can see that sort of strengthening the individual members of it, you know. Thank you.